Hey Zach, look at the river. That's pretty cool. Hi and welcome to another episode of Hiking with Ben. Today we're walking along Square Rock Walking Track, named after famous Canberra explorer, John Walking Track. And I gotta say, it's great to get back out in the outdoors after a few months laid off after a surfing accident. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <coughs> Let me address the elephant in the room straight up. There's been some allegations that I've been inserting pictures of Momo in some of my videos to try and scare kids. I wouldn't do that. I would never stick a picture in one of my videos just for the purpose of eliciting some sort of negative reaction. grass for a year or have not or have a house full of dogs that are cannibals would you rather get hit on the face with a log or get hit in the back with an arrow would you rather meet batman or spider-man would you rather own every rock in the world or or have a thousand dollars every year would you rather get shot to death by a greatest ally or get shot to death by an invisible man? Would you rather be a superhero or a supervillain? Would you rather eat a limestone or eat two live mongoose? Would you rather get hit in the face by a rock? or get hit in the face by a basketball. Would you rather wear no clothes for a week or eat a curry on public transport? Would you rather pee on a cat or vomit on a gerbil? <laughs> Would you rather eat a bag full of your own toenails or get stabbed by a tree? Would you rather be naked for the rest of your life or never watch TV again? Would you rather watch the worst movie in the world or never watch your favourite movie again? Hot tip time. When you're walking along a walking track, always remember to stick to the left. That way you'll avoid any unnecessary collision with other hikers walking in the opposite direction. <laughs> One time I was hiking and I forgot to stick to the left. And when I came across a hiker coming in the other direction, we ended up getting into a standoff that literally lasted for hours. In the end, I had to give way. And I gotta say, I hadn't felt so humiliated since the time I was a contestant on Married at First Sight. I'm a, uh, a big fan of the poetry of Nick Kershaw. By a tree by the river there's a hole in the ground Where an old man called Darren runs around and around There's a tree by a river there's a something else Mm, uh, uh, mm, mm, they're wrong and wrong, but you'll never ever find the truth.
a tip from me to you. Don't use language like that. Here we go, another look out. This looks interesting. It wasn't Zach. Now that's a square rock. the summit of Square Rock and I gotta say the stories are true absolutely spectacular I'm just gonna spin this camera around so you can see what I'm seeing spectacular absolutely spectacular dad you idiot you have your finger on the lenses I'll do it spectacular absolutely amazing Nah, it's a lizard. When I'm in a place like this, I really like to make myself be one with nature and just let my mind be free and take me on a journey, a journey into the unknown. If all the characters in How to Train Your Dragon live on an isolated island, how can all the adults speak in a Scottish accent, but the kids speak in American accents? I think I'll start a Blink-182 cover band called Blink-183. People need to start asking less of Where's Wally and more of Where's the Wally. What's the point of wearing a tie? It's not like if you take it off, you're sure. By a tree, by the river, there's a hole. 